the most widely used technology is obviously Roto Radio. Roto Radio because uh, it's cheap, uh, it does not entail um, a large investment uh, or amount, large amounts of uh, funding. Uh, people, particularly in, in Africa, are very well accustomed to, to radio and they also depend on radio as a critical information tool. In fact, it's not uncommon that a lot of uh, countries in Africa use the radio as the so-called village phone, like personal messages are broadcasted over the air to inform this or that community, uh, a community that is isolated and nowadays we also have ICTs um, and I would say in the last 10 or 15 years there is a tremendous increase of the use of ICTs and in developing countries. There are cases where some rural uh, radios are equipped with an internet connection so they're able to communicate with the decision makers you know, upstream or with organizations that deal with that particular development issue uh, so they can, get, uh, they can readily get information uh, through, um, through email or through the web. The combined use of ICTs with rural radio is, is a way also to, um, to give the opportunity to, uh, to farmers or farmers organizations to benefit from the information and the knowledge that is available on, on the web. In fact, a lot of rural, station, rural uh, radio stations are equipped with the, with the internet and can actually access this type of, uh, of information. Another tool that is also important in rural area, areas is the uh, mobile phone. It's a very important tool that also works in collaboration with the radio to establish a kind of network where, uh, for instance, people themselves, the audience, can actually provide feedback to the radio uh, with respect to the programs that they're producing. So you can imagine that the combination of radio, uh, mobile phones and internet has tremendously uh, impacted the way that uh, we communicate uh, among uh, uh, rural people uh, and also with the stakeholders and the agencies that support them.